Generic greetings and welcome to Airport CEO once again in the previous episode we got some stands put in as you can see we have one two three four five stands for aircraft naturally not like a handstand or a or a long stand that was a good old prank wasn't it when you told an apprentice to go and get a long stand and he would be sent over there and someone would say yeah yeah long stands just there mate just wait up and then um, after a while they would figure out that they've been duped it's you know it's good old fashioned for nobody gets physically hurt or anything maybe a bit of mental scarring but hey ho I mean it's uh, not as bad as getting shot in the head with an acid-covered crossbow like now when someone's shouting, it's a prank, bro. No, no, I'm, I'm just seriously wounded and you're still an idiot. Anyway, so we've got these stands put in. They are naturally connected to a... A, pa a taxiway, which is obviously connected to a runway, which allows aircraft to land and indeed take off. And that's really the essence of an airport. So what we can do this episode and what we will be doing is, right now, clicking on that, going to open the runway. We will then press tab over to operations and open the airport. There we go. So the airport is now open and we can accept flights. So there's a couple of type of flights. There's a generic aviation, well, general aviation, but we know we're going to call it generic aviation. And there are passenger aircraft. So ones that are, well, they're called commercial, but ones that the, the, the general aviation is someone like um, Harrison Ford and his own little plane and he's bombing about and then he lands and he gets fuel and then he takes off and hopefully doesn't crash along the way. And that's what that's all about. Commercial is, well, it's a commercial flight. You pay a company to get you from A to B and again hopefully you don't end up in the C. So what we can do is we can turn these stands so they accept uh, general aviation or commercial. What I'm going to do is have these three stands, actually we'll call it four stands for now. I don't want... no. We'll have these three stands as generic aviation as you can see whereas these ones at the end are going to be commercial. So we're going to turn off general aviation. There we go and we'll turn those on. So each commercial stand has to have a couple of things. It has to have a... a... What's these called? Are these called gates? Yeah, these gate stands. Hang on. What's the actual term for them? It is a... not a checking desk. It is a boarding desk. Yes, so they have to have a boarding desk, which as you can see that one has. And they also have to be connected to a security point, which in this case we've got one there. Now we've got another two others, so we can turn them on if we do so desire. The red line shows what they're connected to but it means they're not on, whereas the blue means it's all working. So that's all now working and should be fine. However, slight issue, we might be a bit understaffed. Let's just go over to staffing and over to our staff tab, and we're going to filter that by airport staff, and we can see we don't have any airport staff. That's bad because we need airport staff to man this thing here. So we'll go over to applicants, airport staff, and we're going to hire people that have... Um, Logic skill dictates how smart players and how well they take accurate decisions. Politeness is good. Technical, we don't really need someone that and handle stress. We need someone that's polite and can handle stress, I think. That's probably the way to go. So that person there, Jason Miller, you are definitely one for us. And there's uh, Carlos Garcia. You're quite good as well. And then Adrian, mm, not too great. Those two should be okay for now. Hopefully they will go to the places where they need to be. Also, we need people on the front desk. So actually, to be fair, I don't really have uh, many people. Uh, I don't really have much of a choice. I just need to get people here. So that's fine. We'll go over to the staff again and change this to janitor. We can see that we don't have any janitorial people here. Actually, that's straight. No, it is there. That's, ah, that's a bit of a bug. You can actually type in there, which I knew, but a space, mm, it can actually remove it. So we do actually have three janitors. We'll go over to airport staff again, and is it going to automatically update? It is... Is it working? Do we have any janitors? I don't know. It's a bit glitchy, that. I just say all. Apparently, all, we only have... We only have three staff, do we? Well, I can clearly see four there. So that is broke. Ah, we have to unpause it. Weird glitchy thing. So we've got four, uh, three staff, four security, three janitors. Okay, that's fine. That's all we wanted to know. Back over to applicants. Or to airport staff. Uh, no applicants yet. I'm just going to unpause it and see what happens. Um, we've still got the same people. You would no know where. Um, we'll say reject that application. Um, handle stress and pleasantness is quite good. We'll hire you. Uh, no, we don't want you. You're okay. Uh, definitely you. And uh, that should do us for now. In terms of security, we only have one security desk. But I don't think... 
I wish there was a soft start on this. It's very, very jerky, and I know people have complained about it being very jerky. I apologise. There's not much I can do about it. It's just the way it is. I'll try not to uh, zoom in out as fast. Anyway, so we've got the security personnel here. That's just the one open. We can open the others if we do so desire, but we have to hire some more, so we'll leave it for now. What I do want to do is go over to Operations, Construction, and I want to dismiss... 30 contractors. I don't need 74 contractors on site. In fact, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we've got 40 contractors on site there. We can get more, but we don't need them here. So I don't know if that I don't know if it actually is an advantage of you having them. Uh, it'll be in economy contracts and the accepted, and it'll be the building here. So maximum deployment deployed is 74. Hourly fee per used contract is eight. So yes, getting rid of a lot of them is actually very very important. So you know what? I might as well just go down to. Actually, no, I'm not going to do anything just yet because we need to do a couple of things, and I need to um, get some people uh, building. So pause it for a second. Airport's open. General aviation, the generic aviation is opened up as well. We just need to check, double check here that we are not. We're going to always accept generic aviation. So any plane that comes along, sometimes you would have to accept from this one here. You have to say, yes, accept the planes. But in this case, we're just going to automatically accept it. That's what this tower allows us to do. At least that's what the tutorial tells me. I've ticked the box before. Um, either way, they were going to land and they'll be able to go there there and there but not on these because them stands are for commercial only speaking of commercial we do need to get some commercial operations so we'll go over to the economy and offered tab and we can see we've got lots of different uh contracts here now we've got one for building one for fuel we've got all the fuel and building so it's just airlines we've got skylink and you can see it when i click on it what it's going to need so it, it has six light uh, six light class f flights requiring a small stand and one check-in desk each. I've got two of those, so we're fine. So six successful flights to complete. Payment is 2,800 a flight, and we have to do it within three days. So that's quite good. Relationship between the airport and the airlines depends on the success successful execution of the contract. So the better we do for these this airline, Skylink, the better ones we'll get in the future. Excellent. But I'm just going to check the others. That's 2,900. That is 3,300. And that one is 3,200. So I'm going to go for Maple, which is Canada A. And then we'll go for uh, Stripe Air, which is 3,200. And we'll accept that as well. So we've now signed two airlines. So if we go over to our flight planner, which is on the bottom right, or you just press F, we now have our overall flight planner. So obviously it's separated into days. There you go. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. Obviously Saturday is a bit of a blind spot for us. And then we've got our stands listed here. So we've got two small stands. What I'm going to do, just for clarification, just make it easier, is rename the stand to small stand one. And small stand. Damn it! Two. There we go. Small stand one and two. Okay, so we've now got one and two, which puts it in the wrong order, which is really, really helpful. Okay, so this is current time of day. It is quarter to two in the morning. And on the left-hand side, we have our contracts. So Maple and Stripe Air. These are our airlines. So you can click on those, and it shows you the flights. So, for example, uh, Maple MP236 is leaving Southampton Airport from Southampton United Kingdom, Europe, and it's going to land in the generic international airport Belfast, United Kingdom. Ha! Wrong! That is not the case. We are not there. We are um, in Douglas on the Isle of Man. Anyway, it's, you know, Alpha Game is Alpha. Literally unplayable, obviously. Uh, series over, we can't complete it. Let's just end it there now, anyway. So, you can see the services that are... Ooh, that's a thing. I might have messed up already. Uh, oh, no, it says service requested. Hmm. Okay. So, anyway. So, you can see where it's going from and where it's coming to. The red plane going down is not you ditching into the sea or into tarmac, it's just the scheduled time to land and how many people will be landing. So in this case, no scheduled time to land, we can do it ourselves, but there's 16 people landing. The one in the middle, in orange, where it's on the level ground, that's how many hours it will sit on the tarmac, in this case, three hours, and then the takeoff is in green, how many people are going to take off, in this case, it's 19. Again, not scheduled, we don't really care about it, like, where, where we put it, it just says put it wherever. Services required. Uh, requested services are fuel, uh, maintenance, and I believe cleaning. Now, we don't have the latter two, but we do have the first one. So, what I'm going to do is start putting them on the on the stand. So, we'll say Maple will go on stand 
uh, probably on stand two, doesn't really matter, and I will just confirm that there. Now you can, if you want, have a gap between them. You can do that if you do so desire. I'm going to, I'm going for the time being to give it an hour's gap, for reasons that I will explain in but a moment. And we'll probably put most of the flights in there. That's not too bad. And then we'll go over to Stripe Air, and then we're going to do the same thing. Now I'm just going to confirm all these again. These have roughly similar. Um, requests and such so we'll just put the ones we can in and then that should do us quite nicely there we go so we're going to have a total of eight commercial aircraft hopefully land and take off okay in on our end of day friday so that's fine but we have a little problem if i go over to the infrastructure and taxi node you can see where these taxi nodes are connecting so this is where the aircraft will land and then move around for a start i didn't connect this up properly there we go and now it is fixed. So what would happen is the aircraft would come and land and then stop there because it cannot make its way to the gate. It's very smart. Once you've once you got all connected, it'll work, but it wouldn't be able to get to the gate. Here's another problem. If an aircraft comes along here and to there, if it needs to get out, it has to go back this way, which means aircraft coming along will have to stop, and that is bad. We need it so it goes up and along and instead of coming back through this one, we want it as a one-way system. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make, as a, make it as a one-way system. Now, we also have a bit of an issue because I did plan on extending this over to the right. So what I'll do for the time being, I'm going to just put in a taxiway foundation as asphalt. We're going to have it as 5x5 five five, and then a 5x, doesn't really matter, over to there. Uh, and that is going to be our new taxiway will go along in that way. So if we do expand along to the left... Hang on, that's the right. If we expand along to the right, um, they'll have to still come back. And what I'll do is I'll just expand the taxiway and then connect it up. So there's no issue with that there. We can also, if we really wanted to, actually, and it might be a decent idea, uh, going over to the taxiway foundation. Bit iffy this to uh, select it, but we're going to put a taxiway foundation in there. So it means it can go that way if they do need to as well. So we'll max speed it out and then we'll see what happens. Once this is uh, all connectorated and built, we will then obviously be able to... Uh, connect up with a taxi route. Now if we go out to Flight Planner we can see that we're going to have a couple of flights very shortly. They are scheduled to be the exact same time, it doesn't matter, it's just a rough sort of landing point so this should be okay. As you can see we've got a boatload of work peoples coming along to build this new taxiway in asphalt obviously because that's what we ordered. He says, only realising that uh, I automatically went and did it, so that's fine. And as you can see now, there's people turning up. So we've got a lot of people, uh, obviously got backpacks and things like that. They're carrying their own baggage. We haven't got a baggage system in place. We will be getting one of those, but it'll be uh, several episodes down the line, I would imagine, because it's one of the most advanced things you can make in the game so far. But so far, what's happening, uh, we've got check-ins. So people are coming along, they're actually they're standing on the queue, which is good. They will come along, they will put their bags on this, and there you go, that's their luggage. So this person will drop off a couple of things, and then it'll go through the baggage scanner, no problem. They'll go through the metal detector, and then as you can see, they'll come through. Now immediately, this person is saying they need the toilet, and this is a problem, because the toilet is in the non-secure location. So they can't leave this area. So what I might do... Maybe a future is problem. We might build a wall all the way down there, put the exits here, and then have this still connected up there. Or not. I don't know. We might even just go for just building another toilet along here. That's probably the better way to do it. Also, we need seats, which we haven't got. But, yeah, at the moment, I don't really care. What I really care about at the moment is getting this taxi, ro uh, this taxi route finished. Um, obviously, we do need a node, and we'll put a node along and around. But can I build it like that? Well, I can. Whether or not this works or not is really... Well, we'll have to see, won't we? But either way, the workmen are coming along, building all of this. Seems to function okay. First flight, I believe, is now. So, oh, there we go. First plane. Yeah. First plane. So this is our first commercial aircraft. The striped one as well. There you go. So it is just going to come along, turn around, and that's it. That's our first commercial aircraft. Well done. It didn't, la it didn't land and explode, so this is always an advantage. Oh, actually, it's not. There's our first one. That's the maple there. There you go, and it will dock up. And what will happen is, shut the engines down, people will get out, and there you go. They're going to walk along and into the terminal. And then say, hi, everything going all right? Yep, flight was good, and then they will head out. Um, strangely, nobody's working on these gates. Why? 
these are our employees and what they're saying what's up with them I don't know what that symbol means <laughs> do they mean they can't get through employees and passengers can get through there so I'm not really too sure what it means this is a problem Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hang on then. Areas secure. Definitely secure. Uh, loads are set as staff. They're definitely set as staff. Look. Why is that not working? This is bad. Very bad. Um, okay. Staff. Staff. Locate. Stand hall. Stand hall, stand hall, stand hall. Airport staff. Empty and empty. Okay. Deactivate that. Deactivate that. And that'll be... That's fine. We just need those two. So, why can they not? Why are they not going? Or maybe they, maybe these will. They're just, just taking the time to get there. Hmm. That is an issue. I don't know why that's doing that. I might say max two and see if it alters it. It's definitely not. We got the stand connection. It says it's okay. And we've also got some light aircraft coming along as well, as you can see. Yeah, some generic aviation there. And oh, people are now now scanning. That's working. They must only go there if there's a requirement to do so, which is really worrying. But either way, the planes are are taking off. You can see one went down this way and one went that way, and. There we go. It went. Well, I'm very happy with that. That's fine. Uh, right, we're just going to check something. Um, we do have a fuel truck. We do have a... Avgas fuel depot, but I don't know if we have the jet fuel. Not that I think we're using jet fuel yet. Um, I don't know. Either way, what I'm going to do is go over to Economy Procurement. A procurement Director is required. We have one. I was going to say, <laughs> why Why is that doing that? Uh, we say unlock now, which is jet fuel. Commercial aircraft. And then we'll get that all up and running. Excellent. So we now have essentially a working airport. We've got the generic aviation just sitting there. And people obviously coming in and out. There's another maple there, one coming along. It's going to get there. People are going to come out and then leave. Excellent. It, it functions. That's exactly what I want. Oh, there's two of them. Sweet. So, we know this is all working. And that means that I think now we need to look at our money. Because we are hemorrhaging money. And that's not good. We definitely don't want to lose the game by just, you know, if we're doing okay now. And then go down the line and, well, we're out of cash. We've, we've lost. We don't want that. So, I need to put some seating in. Um, I need to get... Come on. Uh, guys, you don't want to stand around the runway. That would be very, very bad for your health. There you go. Look, see they're all going. <laughs> uh, for some reason, there's no... The fuel truck ain't, ain't actually going to fuel them up. Fuel says... Have gas... Ah, refueling not requested, that's why. Oh, you know what? Because we haven't turned fueling on. That is why. Uh, there you go. Avgas, 100 LL refueling services, done. And we should get this working now. This fuel truck should come along and start filling them up. But only once we've got the new planes in. Because they've landed knowing that they can't get fueled up. Whereas now, we should be okay. So here's another one. I don't know what that takes. What does that one take? That one takes... Yeah, we're feeling not requested, but I think that takes... Um, 
Yeah, that takes jet fuel. Even though it's a prop propeller. It's a prop engine, by the way. It could be a it could be a turbo prop, I guess. It could be a turbo prop. And that one sounds like a jet, but again, that's a that's a prop driven aircraft. It wouldn't be a turbo prop, would it? Well that could be, but that's certain. I don't think that would be. Ah, either way, it all seems to be working. Um you see we've got more airplanes landing, uh, we need to go to our flight scheduler now, and Saturday we need to make sure that we have these uh, all landing. So Maple, we'll go on the first stand, um, we're going to put in uh, no gap whatsoever actually, uh, no we'll put we'll put an hour just to, just to make sure, uh, stripe air again on that stand, and then what we'll do is we will probably get... Do we want another contract? I think we could probably go for another contract. So over to economy contracts. Um, we've got building, fuel, fuel, another airline. So we'll accept this airline. This is the CLM. And then back over to the CLM airline here. Over to the Saturday and start putting these in. So if we actually put them next to each other, we should be able to get... Oh, that says night flights, but it's no way. Reschedule. Oh, and the option isn't supported yet. Ah, you git. That's terrible. Oh, that's so annoying, because look. See, that just fits in. Yeah, if we had that back one, we'd be able to fit the other one in. But then we'd be one left anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Anyway, so we've got those flights put in. It's going to be a bit cramped, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Anyway, people are now sitting around. This is good. What I'm going to do is get ourselves some trash cans, because, um, well, having... Trash all over the place is never good, so I'm just going to put some trash cans like so. And we are actually making money now. Not, I don't think we're, I don't think we are making enough money to be sustainable. Um, hourly balance is still minus. Uh, it's gone all. It's it's struggling. Remember when we place stuff? That also. Ooh, we're refueling. Let me finish my sentence. When we when we place stuff, it does actually go into this balance as well. But anyway, yeah, look at that. We're refueling. So I, d I don't like that. That looks a bit too fiery to me. So when I do that, it looks like it's on fire. But yeah, that's uh, that's just the refueling truck. So the, the orange line shows you, uh, the yellow line, uh, mustard line, shows you what's happening. So it's actually refueling there. So we've, we, we're have we charging for refueling services as well now. So this is good because previously we just had fuel sitting in there doing nothing. Anyway, so we go over to our... List here, yep, we've got now our Jet Fuel A1 service, so I'm going to buy a Fjord Fuel Truck Jet A1, we'll order that, it's going to take a little bit of time to get there. In the meantime, we will go over to the, where is it, structures, yes, Fuel Tank, and change that over to, oh no, sorry, Fuel Depot as Jet A1 now. Actually, could we get, the question is, could we get a Fuel Tank with Jet A1 and do that? No. You see the fuel part, it's it's only only as one by the look at it. One, let me connect that up. At least we know. Um we'll probably put that in there. Completely fine. And if we want to, we can put extra fuel stuff on the back, just for expansion, you see. And there we are. That's gonna be our basic fuel depot. And it looks like people are coming and going. This is good. This is now function rating. That's exactly what we wanted. What's that bleepy noise? Um Okay, person can't find a reachable security checkpoint. That one, maybe? That seems to work. Okay, there's another way of going about this. Um, what I'm going to do is go over to our items and have a... Where is it? Small security checkpoint. And I'm going to put it in this corner here, like so. Mm, there, okay. And the reason for that is I will then have a wall to the left of it, and then I'll max speed it, and then I'm going to delete this bit of wall. Now, the reason for that is I'm going to set this small security station to be just for staff only, so they can quickly get in and out without ever having to use the queues. I think that's very important, because otherwise we're going to have some problems like you can see here. So we'll wait until that's done, and then we will pause it. We will go over to Bulldoze. Bulldoze that little section there. Just max speed that out, and then pause it. We will check in, or we'll click on that for a start off, and say that is not passengers. This is just employees only. That's all it is. And then we will need to probably hire someone else. So unpause it, because it seems to be a little bit glitchy when it comes to this sort of thing. So it's staff, and then security. We have four security members, so we'll go to app applicants 
And security, we'll just say someone with good good stress, logic, technique. I don't really know what you need for this, to be quite honest with you. Um, well, you've got, you're have got the most expensive. I'm going to hire a couple more staff just in case, and that should be that okay. So once this is set up, once this is working, staff should be able to go through that no problem. We'll just click on areas, uh, actually show areas rather, toggle zones, and we can see that is staff as well. Yes, yeah, so that should be fine, no problem there at all. There you go. So why can they not get through? Is it because they... Is this security zone for staff only? Uh, so for, for people who've gone through the checkpoints? I don't know. I don't know. Where are they trying to navigate to? Let's see if the job thing tells me. Uh, staff... What's on the board? Uh, staff, all tell you what they're doing. There is a there is a data panel, job tasks. That's it. So staff is checking desk, checking desk, checking desk. It just says upgrade checking desk. So they're all doing it. So I don't know. I don't know why they can't get through. A little bit of a test here. Let's go over to staff and change this to staff and see what happens because they might just be trying to get to there nope I have no idea what that's all about I really don't know how do you remove them as well delete that room So that's room. That's fine. I want to remove this orange bit. Should we know that's secure? So that knows it's staff room. Hmm. And the queue's in there. I'm not really too sure. I'll care later. We've got enough stuff on our plate anyway. So, clear that. I'll deal with that later on. So, we've got people landing. Let me just turn that off for now. We've got uh, aircraft landing. That's fine. We've got check-in. We've got people waiting. So, we don't have a toilet in here. And that's something we need. We also eventually want to go for some shopping and things like that. Um, time being, we're just worried about losses, which at the night obviously is quite a while. Uh, we've got Saturday pretty much sorted. Sunday, we might as well go ahead and just book these last bits in. And we'll not look at the other contracts yet because I really want to make sure we've got... Well, I want to check to see if we've got better contracts because at the moment... If we go over to the contracts, we've got oh, only one airline there. There's only one airline left. I guess I'll have to sign that contract. I'll see what uh, other airlines it brings us uh, after a while. I mean, we can reject the contracts for some of these stuff like the fuel and stuff, but yeah, we'll leave it for now. So, flight planner, we've got uh, Skylink. And we'll have these pretty much back-to-back. -back. Like, that's our objective, really, although... Might be a bit dodgy at times. Yeah, that's not going to work. So we might as well have a little bit of a gap, as you can see. Uh, and we can't reschedule it. So that's about us. Right, sorted. And as you can see, they're all landing. It's all working. It's just these can't get where they need to go. It's because... I'm going to have to check the zones. Hang on, let me check the zones here. So... Manuals. It's zoning. So, areas can be zoned for employee access only to this use staff zone tool. So, yeah, secure area is an area that's zoned with a secure area zone and personal access that they're required to pass through security checkpoint when entering and secure area exit when leaving. So, we've got the entrance and exits. I don't know. 
I don't know why they're glitched out. I'll have a play about with it for next episode and see what the deal is. It could be that door. Is it that door again? It could be that, you know. Because I'm sure I fixed that. I thought I fixed that door. I mean, apparently not, but uh, whatever. Let's see what happens. And there's nothing in there to clean anyway. And that would make sense because there's nobody going in there if the door's all wrong. So... Where are we at? Structures. Small door. It's definitely the right area. That door's in. And people can happily go in and out here. We've seen them go in and out. And how dirty is all that? Look, there's papers all over and stuff. <laughs> That's horrible. Um, apparently these flights are running late. Do you want to delay them? No, I don't. I wonder why they're running late. Oh, because we have probably haven't got the... I was going to say we haven't got the jet fuel, but we haven't turned them on anywhere. What I need to do is get myself a... Hang on. That is the jet... Yeah, that's, that's jet A. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, oh, I don't know why it's saying we're running late. Is it because people are not in there? We definitely have a staff routing, routing issue here, and I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, and next episode I'm going to... For for next episode, I'm going to have a play around with um, some of these because, quite honestly, we've got a couple of issues here. I'm not too sure what they are. So, next episode, we will go ahead, see what this problem is, and then progress on. But we have got our jet fuel system up and running. We've got the other tanks that were sorted out last episode. But more importantly, we have flights, and we've got several of them, as you can see. So, these are all landing. I think it is important to have a little bit of a gap between the two, because um, we, we have seen some issues there. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap that out. Um, at least we know now that... Uh, there's a bit of an issue there, and obviously there's only one runway, so we do need to make sure that uh, we have these flights come in and out, and you know, not just being back to back, wall to wall, because otherwise we'll have a lot of issues there. Anyway, as always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Next episode, we'll go ahead, sort some stuff out, progress on, and hopefully, again, something something not on fire. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.